What's up guys, Zach Hample coming to you here on a very chilly February afternoon here in New York City. I've been getting a lot of comments and questions recently on YouTube and social media from people asking me how I feel, what my thoughts are about the Houston Astros, this whole cheating scandal, and just this gigantic mess that Major League Baseball is in right now. So I wanted to talk quickly about that. First things first. I can't say this too loudly because I'm out in public and I don't want to scare people, but I am pissed about this whole situation. Not just sad, not just disappointed, but legit angry, bordering on furious. Because there is nothing more important to a professional sport, nothing more sacred than its integrity. And what the Astros have done has really shaken Major League Baseball to its core. And I am not satisfied with the response and the punishments from Rob Manfred, the commissioner of Major League Baseball. Now I understand that a lot of people are pissed at him and perhaps rightfully so, but I think it's important to think about his role in this a little more thoughtfully. To me, I don't think you should be as angry or, or angrier at the response to a crime than you are at the crime itself. You know what I mean? Like you can't be angrier at Rob Manfred than you are at the Astros. They're the ones that really messed up. That said, you know, Manfred handed down a $5 million fine to the Astros, which, you know, that's a lot of money for you or me. But if you're a major league franchise that's worth I would assume at least a billion dollars. It's not a lot of money. The Astros are gonna be losing draft picks. That's good. Their manager and GM got suspended for an entire season. That's a big deal, also good. And then they subsequently got fired. I hope those guys never work again in professional baseball or professional sports. But what about the players, man? Like, no consequence for them? Sure, they're gonna get booed mercilessly wherever they go this year and perhaps for the rest of their careers. They deserve that. You know, being humiliated and shamed is a good punishment, but it's still not enough. Uh, they may get thrown at intentionally by pitchers when they come up to bat. I'll stop short of saying that the players deserve that. I never wanna see people get injured when it could be career ending or even potentially life ending, but I'm just not happy with how the players are getting to keep their World Series bonus money, how the Astros as an entire team, they get to keep their championship. It's just not right. Now, again, I don't think you can be too critical at Rob Manfred for not punishing the Astros players because he had to grant them immunity, or at least he decided to, in order to get them to speak to learn more about exactly what was going on. So that was a tough choice he had to make. In my alternate universe fantasy land, in the back of my head, I kind of wish that this would happen, and it won't. I wish that every player and coach would be suspended for an entire year. Anybody who was on that roster. Guys who weren't there for the full season, too bad. Relief pitchers out in the bullpen who maybe didn't know what was going on or they weren't directly contributing to the cheating, the sign stealing. Oh well, sorry. It's called a team because everyone's in it together. And you as a team cheated and everybody should be punished, suspended for a year. What would happen as a result? Well, congratulations, Astros. Your AAA team is now your Major League team. Have fun with that. Have fun with lower attendances because fans don't want to show up and watch a bunch of minor league players. Have fun with lower revenue. Have fun losing a lot of games, getting worse draft picks. That's the kind of stuff that I would love to see. Just something so dramatic and extreme that it would truly deter the Astros and other teams from cheating like this down the road. Yes, hello ladies, I'm filming a YouTube video. I wonder if they agree. So, another thing, 
when you win the World Series as a player or coach, you get a lot of money. When you just simply reach the playoffs, the wild card, the first round, you get a whole lot and then every round that you win after that, the bonuses just keep piling up. The difference between reaching the World Series and winning the World Series, I don't know exactly, you could probably look this up, but I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of a quarter of a million dollars. And sure, you get partial shares if guys are only on the team for part of the season or whatever, but that is a lot of money right there that was awarded to the Astros for winning. I think that those players and coaches should absolutely have to give that money back. Give it back to Major League Baseball, and then that money should go to charity. I'm not even sure what charity, but that could be worked out, not my job. I also think the Astros should be fined additionally, and some of that money should go to the Los Angeles Dodgers and all of those players and coaches because those guys got cheated. So I'd like to see that. Ugh, this is really, it's so ugly. I just, I hate it. And now you got guys pointing fingers, like David Ortiz just came out recently and he called Mike Fires a snitch for being a whistleblower on this whole thing. That's not helpful. And I mean, David Ortiz himself, his record isn't clean. People seem to forget that he failed a steroid test back in like 2003. So who is he to go after anybody really, but let alone people involved in a cheating scandal? So, you know, there's, there's other teams, of course, that are believed to have cheated. Of course, the Red Sox, they've gotten busted and they're facing consequences, but cheating has a rich history, if you want to call it that, in Major League Baseball. And it's like, it's acceptable up to a certain point, right? If you want to steal signs just with the naked eye, that's fine. But once you start using technology, no, like that's where we draw the line. And I just think that all these players and everybody who's coming out bashing the Astros, they need to be careful because stuff may come out about them. But yeah, everybody's pissed. Um, other teams, players, coaches, executives, fans, of course, and rightfully so. And then you have people coming out and saying like, you guys, can't we all get along? We shouldn't be so pissed and angry and like we have to move past this. You know what? You cannot put a shelf life on anger. You just can't. You have to let people feel how they're gonna feel. Some people get over it quickly. Some people are gonna hold on to that anger and resentment. That's just how it goes. And I think that the entire 2020 season is going to be extremely, extremely ugly. Now that said, there's still a lot to look forward to this year and beyond. Um, as I've said, Major League Baseball will survive. It's a glorious game. You know, it survived the 1919 Black Sox. It survived uh, the strike in 1994. And there was no World Series champion in 1994 because the season ended. And I think the same thing should happen with 2017. I think Manfred should strip that title right away from the Astros. You know, Manfred came out and said that the World Series trophy is just a piece of metal. That was an unfortunate thing to say, and I'm sure he deeply regrets that. But I just think that history should reflect that there is no champion at all from the 2017 season. Too bad, Astros. You cost yourself by cheating. Anyway, um, that's about it. That's how I feel about all this. I do still plan to visit probably 20 plus major league stadiums this year and go to 60, 70, 80 games. I don't have it all planned out. Just starting to figure out April. Um, but yeah, you guys asked me what I was thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So I will end with this final thought for the Houston Astros. I'm out.